Hi, welcome back to Happy TV. Um, today uh, we're gonna talk about this year's um Super Bowl, and um, <clears throat> I know lately you guys have been following my uh, picks, and I appreciate that. But um, today we're gonna not gonna do the helmets. Today we're gonna just talk about the the two teams, obviously, and then we'll talk about the field right now. Um, this is a rematch from four years ago. The uh, Chiefs won that game. They had to come back to win, but they won that game. Um, I picked 49ers to win that one back then. They didn't happen. But um, I'm going to pick them to win again this one since the Chiefs won last time. So I'm going to pick them again. Um, it's a different team that the 49ers have. I think there's 11 players from the team they had four years ago. And then the rest of the team is pretty brand new and and younger, I think. So um, anyway, the Chiefs kind of, it's been the Chiefs since these last, what, five years now? So it's been the same team pretty much, but I think this might be the best defense they've ever had um, in their history. So, um, and I think this is what got them here too, to be honest. And because um, the offense hasn't been great this year, but they've been now they now they're clicking now. Um, so it's it's perfect time for that their that their offense is clicking now. And um, so, but you know the Ravens were a good defense, so they but they did enough to beat them. So and, and so did their defense. We know their defense is really good too, like I just mentioned. And um. So yeah, but um, I like the, I want to pick the 49ers to win this one. If the Chiefs win, obviously it's not gonna upset me. But um, I like the Chiefs too. These are two classic teams, and um, so yeah, I just at the end of the day, we just want a good game, a great game, and um, if it goes overtime, that'd be great. But we've only had one had it happen once, so we'll see what happens. And um, so now getting into the field here. Um, well, one more thing too about the 49ers, they're kind of on a losing streak in Super Bowls too. So they've won their first five, they've lost their last two, and we know the last time they were in the Super Bowl and the loss was against the Chiefs. So they have a chance to avenge one of them. So they, we don't know if they'll be repeat or revenge. So it's kind of it's up to them too to play better in this game that they did before last time. It's not like they were pulling away from the Chiefs. I mean, the Chiefs were within range to come back. So and they did exactly that. So um. But no one's pulling away from anybody. I don't think it's going to be a close game. And um, if one team ha kind of has a large lead, I feel like the other team could come back and make it interesting. And um, so we'll see what happens. But on to the field here. Um, this is what you're going to see on Sunday. It's a nice-looking field. I mean, the colors, I like the red, how the reds come together, and then the yellows for the Chiefs. And I like the purple, too. So I like red and pur I like the red and purple combination, the purple logo for the Super Bowl. Looks nice. Um but, I mean, it looks kind of plain because I'm going to show you guys what I came up with right now. Um, I did one. If you follow me on, on the any of the other platforms, you you might have seen it, like on Instagram or something, on Twitter. But um, I haven't put it on YouTube just yet. I think I did put a post on YouTube. and um, But this is the video for it now. And, um, you know, this is what they're going to have. So what you're going to see. It's not horrible. We've seen... Um, the colors are nice, at least, you know, the, like I said, red, the purples, the yellows. So the color scheme is really nice. Um, the Chiefs have been with that yellow end zone all their super, recent Super Bowl. I think every Super Bowl they've been in. So that's, you know, we know that's not going to change for them. 49ers, it's the same thing, the red one. You, you know, we haven't seen the conference logos, and I think that's it's been like eight years now since we've seen the conference logos. So they haven't been using them. Um, kind of a... I guess it's not necessary, but I kind of like it, though. I like seeing that it's the NFC champions and it's the AFC champions. You know, it's like it's from two. It's one league, but it's two different conferences. They come from two different sides. Um, but they don't incorporate that in here. Um, the uh, the benches are kind of similar to what I have, except on mine, you're going to see it's kind of swapped. But um, so I guess I, I maybe I messed up on that end, but I feel like the the end zone that's over here should be here because they get the top part since they're getting the second part first part should get the bottom part so that's how it used to be in Super Bowls the t the the team that wore white was always over here and then the team that wore the color jersey was always over here so now that's different now um white jerseys here now color jerseys over here now so you know that that's one difference that the way they used to do it from back in the day and then um and then we'll go to mine here now. We've seen enough of that one. This is mine. I just feel like there's more color to it. Um, you know, over here, you just see it's all plain. There's no purple. I incorporated more purple since it matches the Super Bowl logo. Uh, I incorporated the conference logos here, too, as you can see my cursor here. If you guys can see it moving around up here. 
by the Chiefs bench. So anyway, um, yeah, I did. I added the the conference logos on on each corner here. I did the borders. I think borders should be used for the Super Bowl. Um, I would like for them to use you know, red zone borders for the Super Bowl. Um, they don't have to do it for a regular season. I guess some teams could do it for the regular season. You know, like, and some teams are just classic teams. They don't put the borders or they don't believe in the borders. But um, I feel like for Super Bowl, at least, they should have borders. Um, and that's it, only for the Super Bowl. Um, it doesn't have to be on anything else. Um, so, yeah, it's just, I just feel like mine has more color. Um, the benches, like I said, are very similar to what they have, except I have the, the side swap here. Um, so, yeah, I just feel like it's kind of been disorganized for a little, for a while now. And, um, or they're, you know, they've changed some things, but it's just like, it's just plain guys. I mean, you guys could do, I think the border, even just the borders, that would make a huge difference. The background over here would be nice too if it had color or designs or something like that. But, I mean... At least have some borders, have some, you know, some borders that go from the 20 like this. Gold, it would have been gold for San Francisco. And then over here for the Chiefs, obviously, it would have been red. So I think it just makes it stand out more. Something makes the soup gets the Super Bowl a special look, you know. Um, but, you know, that's just my opinion. Um, let me know what you guys think of, of this concept. I didn't do any helmet ones for this year, but, um, you know, I kind of just i thought this would this one right here looked good enough and um i just kept it like that i do like this two super bowl logos on each side and the nfl logo in the middle but um the way they used to do it in the 90s and early 2000s it was a super bowl logo in the center and two helmets were across we've seen i've done patterns like that like last year and a couple years ago a few years now i've been doing that so but we just left this one like this for now and um yeah just to make it minor you know future minor tweaks borders and the background color would be nice too, but that's all I have for this year, guys. And um, we'll we'll talk about other stuff and stay tuned for more. Um, hope everyone enjoys it. Hope it's a great game and good luck to both teams. And um, and yeah, we'll talk soon, guys. Take care and and uh, enjoy. Thank you.